Hey guys, today in this clip we're going to be going over an example on uh, how to use implicit differentiation to find the uh, equations of a normal and tangent line to the curve of a, um, a rotated ellipse. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down the instruction for this example. Alright, so the task is we are to find, find uh, the equations Find the equations of the tangent of a tangent and normal lines to the curve of um, the curve of the graph or the curve of the equation given by x squared plus x squared plus 2xy plus 3y squared equals 9. Um, we're going to find the uh, equation of the tangent and normal lines to this curve at the point 1 comma negative 2. All right, so um, that's our task. All right, so before we start, let's go over uh, the formulas that we're going to be using in this uh, to, to do this problem. So uh, the formula that you need to know is basically a basic um, algebra um, one formula, okay, the equation of a line. We're going to be combining that with calculus. So for um, equation of tangent line, of tangent line, that's going to be given by y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, where um, m is equal to dy dx at the point, dy dx at x1, y1. All right, so what this equation is formula is telling you to do is in order to write down the equation of the tangent line, you need to find the, the slope at that point x1, y1 by implicitly differentiating whatever function you have and then put it into the um, point slope form of the equation of a line. All right, so that's for a tangent line. And then for the equation, of a normal line, it's going to be y minus y1 equals m uh, mx minus x1, where this the slope here m is going to be equal to the negative reciprocal of m of the tangent. Okay. So this basically tells you that to get the equation of the uh, tan normal line, you take the slope of the tangent line and you do the negative reciprocal or the inverse, and then plug it into the point slope equation. All right, and then that's that's what you're going to do. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, apply that. Let's see, from us to this problem, we have um, x squared plus 2xy plus 3y squared equals 9. All right, so first thing we're going to do is find dy dx and then evaluate it at the fixed point 1 comma negative 2, okay? So we're going to differentiate implicitly here. Applying the power rule, here we have 2x, dx dx drops off, and then plus, now let's differentiate this, I'm going to factor out a 2, and we're going to use the product rule, okay? So remember what the product rule is, let's put that on the side here, uv prime is equal to v u prime plus u v prime, all right? So in this case, x is our u and y is our v, all right? So let's go ahead and differentiate it. v is y, u prime is going to be times 1 dx dx plus um, u, which is x, times v prime, which is times derivative of y is just 1, and then dy dx. All right. That plus, now let's differentiate the last term. Using the power rule, we have 6y dy dx. Okay, that equals to the derivative of 9, which is simply 0. Okay, now let's uh, simplify this and isolate dy dx. So we're going to have 2x plus 2y plus 2x um, 2x dy dx 
plus 6y dy dx equals 0. Okay, so to get dy dx, we have to um, isolate the terms of dy dx on one side, factor out dy dx, and then get dy dx isolated, all right? So these two terms here do not have dy dx attached to them, so I'm going to subtract them from both sides, and that's going to yield uh, 2, and then how about we just factor out dy dx in the process, all right? So if I factor out dy dx from here, I'm going to have 2x plus 6y dy dx equals negative 2x minus 2y. All right, and then to get the idea, the uh, dx isolated, I'm going to divide both sides by 2x plus 6y, and then divide the side by 2x plus 6y. All right, so this divides out, and then we're going to have um, the y dx, the y dx equals, if you notice, I can divide the numerator and the denominator by I mean by 2, 2 is a common factor, so I'm going to have negative um, x, negative x minus y over x plus 3y, okay? That's as a result of dividing it by the GCF, 3 top and bottom, okay? All right, so this is the, the slope at any point, x, y. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, find the slope of the tangent line, m of tangent, is simply going to be dy dx evaluated at the point 1 comma negative 2, all right? So m of tangent is going to be negative, parenthesis 1 minus negative 2 over 1 plus 3 times negative 2. So how did we get this? By plugging x and y into this dy dx equation which helps you calculate the slope at any point, all right? So we'll simplify that. We're going to have um, negative 1 plus 2 over 1 minus uh, 6. This is going to give us 1, one negative 1 over 5. So that's the slope of the tangent line, okay? M of tangent is 1 over 5, so M of normal, slope of the normal is basically the negative reciprocal of the slope of the tangent which is going to be the negative reciprocal of negative 1 over 5. So we can just reciprocate this and invert the sign, uh, which is going to give us 5 as a slope of the uh, tan of the normal line. Okay? All right, so let's write down um, our solutions. So equation of tangent line In point slope form can be written as y minus y1, which is um, negative 2. So y plus 2 is equal to the slope m, negative 1 over 5, times x minus x1. Okay? x1 is 1, so x minus 1. All right, this is a point slope form. We can also write this in slope intercept form, getting y by itself. If we get y by itself, distribute 1 fifth here is going to be negative 1 over 5x. And then this will be plus 1 over 5 minus, plus 1 over 5 minus 2. 2 can be written as 10 over 5. So we have plus uh, 1 over 5 minus 10 over 5. You're going to have negative um, 9. over 5, negative 9 over 5, all right? So there goes the equation of your uh, tangent line. How about the normal? Equation of the normal line. Remember, your normal line is perpendicular to your tangent, right? That's why we take the negative reciprocal of the slope of the tangent line to get the slope of the normal line, all right? So the equation of your normal line same process, the only difference here will be your slope. So y minus y1, which is y minus minus 2, which is y plus 2, equals m. The negative reciprocal found out that here of this is 5 times x minus 1. This is a point slope form. We want to write it in slope intercept form. Just get y equals, distribute the 5 to x, 5x, distribute 5 here, negative 5 minus 2, 
minus 7. Okay, so these are our two equations. Equation of the tangent line and the equation of the normal line. All right. Okay, so let me give you a graphical representation of the situation so you can really see uh, the connection between the, ge between the geometry of what we're doing and also the algebraic component. All right, so let's say we have a coordinate system like this. Uh, so th this is what the graph looks like. <clears throat> this is the graph we just, we just, the curve that is under consideration. We see it's an ellipse that has been rotated. Now, if I graph the point, negative, I don't know, 1, negative 2, you can see that point uh, provided right there. All right, now, um, what does the equation of the tangent line look like? We said it was y equals... Um, negative 1 over 5 x minus 1 plus 2 or negative 1 over 5 minus 9 over 5 if I generate the curve you see how it looks like this is a tangent line it intersects the curve at exactly one point tangential at the point 1 negative 2 and then the normal line you, do you know what it's going to look like the normal line is going to be perpendicular to this line right here let's go ahead and uh, sketch it so there goes your normal line all right all right, so I just captured that on the graph that I just sketched. All right, so let's go ahead and label the uh, equations. So this one right here is your, this is your tangent line, okay? Tangent line. And the equation is y plus 2 equals negative 1 fifth x minus 1. All right? And then uh, this is the actual curve. That had, the curve that has the equation... Uh, x squared plus 2xy plus 3y squared equals 9. And then last but not the least, this is your normal line. Normal line uh, to the curve at that point. All right, so let's just put that correctly. Normal line. Normal line. And the equation we found to be y plus 2 equals... 5 times x minus 1. So that is the equation in um, point slope form. So remember your normal line is perpendicular to your tangent line. So the angle of separation between these two lines is 90 degrees. All right, so this is basically a graphical representation. That shows that our answer is in fact correct. Okay, I generated this using the graphing program. So there, there you have it. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. You can feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking here so you can get updates to other cool uh, calculus clips such as this. Uh, please feel free to post a comment to let me know what you think about this um, clip. And do give me a thumbs up if you if you liked it or appreciate it. More clips can be found on my calculus. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.